Hey everybody, welcome back to some more deck stealing. And uh, if you watched last episode, then we played twice against someone who tried to cheese me with some, as you might have guessed, KVB and CBTU cheese. Yeah, they played Soviets with um, a very interesting setup. Incredibly interesting. It gets more. It gets. It gets weirder and weirder by the tab. Like logistics tab. I'm like, okay, you know. At least you got plenty of CVs, but you know, two pretty mediocre survivability CV cards. Okay, two trucks while you have fob as well. All right. Then an infantry tab. Okay, these cards are fine. And then on a strike in 19 DMT LBV. All right. This is really the only weird card I think in the infantry tab. The rest is fine. I wouldn't reuse a PB when for the same price you can get the BTR-70, which has better survivability, for no downside. Okay, technically. Technically there is a downside, as the BTR-70 has the same speed and autonomy while having a bit more fuel, meaning it's a bit less fuel efficient, but come on. <laughs> Support tab, you're again sure why select two tours be a user, alright? This is... Now that I think about it, probably the most normal tab here. Two castle super heavies, and then nothing, and then you get to the T72 base, and then the T34. Recon tab, you have respect kind of euro, fine. K52, okay, sure. BRDM3, yeah, perfectly normal. And then two cards of the USC KPV, which is by no means bad, by the way. I'm, I'm not a hater of this unit. Two cards when you have Split and Screw available. Called with the two cards of CPDUs and the Jano. Followed by the Akula Emma 28, talk about overkill, and an Emma 24V, and then two planes, and those are just a downwitted MiG 21 Bison and an upwitted MiG 27K. What an experience. Um, yeah. No, that's the deck that we're gonna play. Um, yeah. I guess I'll see you in a second when you find a rank game. Alrighty. We got a cap. Oh man. Well, I'm gonna definitely put the BRDM in base because that has at least some survivability. Also, better off road speed, so you know, and the PV, so it could potentially run away. But I think I'm gonna use a USC for a second CV because uh, for the front line, I will need more survivable ones, and I got only three left. Alright. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna like full on cheese. However, I think I'm gonna send some CPDUs down this way. Sometimes you can people uh, catch people off guard like that. Like some of these guys. What's zero for three seventy versus fifty? Oh, one BTR one five two. That's fast. Um, I'm spooked. Let me get another BRDM that can you know, maybe hide in the water or something. And like cross here. Oh, I could have done with the free food like last game instead of going on the bridge. Maybe cross this way. Much been safer. Um. Alright, well, in that case, screw that. Screw the fob. Uh, get some scratch hits because you know, it gives me ground units and anti air capabilities. And for here and for there. Um, BRDM. Just get some B B uh, CPTUs to rush down there. Still get like an MTV to drop down here. You never know. Sometimes people are just, you know, done really quickly and like bank on, you know, making your opponent think they're gonna heal or rush you or something. I wish I had like a, some extra medium tanks that I could open with here. But I guess I don't. Still get a Vasily. Like, I still want some ground units, right? Some CPUs. Uh, I mean, before this is the same guy we played against the last time. This is on the same day, by the way. Um, look at like a bis just to, like scout. Yes, there's like a tank rush on there. What would be best? Maybe like a healer. Let's get a MTB like hovering low there. Get the conquerors for in here. It's just a defensive bird user. And some 
CPTU sitting here to sponge damage. So that the day still get shot at the while the bit of user is firing. Let's just save the, the remaining points. Really would like to have a K52 though. Right, whatever. Good luck of fun. You unload in there and then move here. We're just gonna like sit here. I probably should have opened with the bus, but get you a bit deeper in case there's like a helicopter with optics. You just keep driving in there. I just fly around the flanks as well. Wait. No? What the fuck? Who already up so quickly? Who does that? Who does that? What the fuck, man? Oh, hello there. Am I C on Elite? Those are specialities. Unless you know the the thing in motor or something, and they're just upfitted trunks. I mean, I guess I am playing against a captain, but like, all right then. If you want this, this one here is not really the best for hero diving because it doesn't have a second set of missiles like uh, other um, A pieces. Let's get like an infantry squad here and block the bridge. It's a BMP2. No, it's a BMP1 with Mariot guns. Well, that's the yeah, other. There's, there's the other MA. Moderna! <laughs> oh, the MAT doesn't have an MG. I'm just gonna get tracked for the other gun here. Alright, I guess it's gonna be you. MIT got destroyed. Thank you very much. Well, we, we are in fact just playing against someone who's just not very experienced, but given how quickly they read it up, I just was like, no way they're gonna play normal. Right? So we just wanna block this bridge and we obviously wanna block something happening here, so I'm gonna have uh, MTV cover like, hover like here and then over there. And that should hopefully secure us. Against, you know, whatever is being unloaded here. So you don't need to be unloaded here. I think I prefer to have you here so they can't make the... Oh boy! That, that carried something, otherwise these VDV that are already on the hardened, uh, sorry, on veteran would not have gotten that much XP. Well, this is one of the one of the games ever. Where did they? I I have to watch replay afterwards. Where did they, oh? Did the same MTV MHT from earlier? No, oh, that's no, oh, it might have been. It didn't get damaged. Right. We just got that XP, let's see, once it crashes, infantry technically doesn't count as that yet. And it's just like 1 HP and you overkill the healer, but the majority of the damage from the, to the infantry inside is... But I think they were unloaded already. I did, I did not get any XP after it crashed. And I, are they just trying to cheese me? Wow. Really? 
Oh, that does even outrange me. That's pretty funny, actually. It's trying to run away. <laughs> wow, I can't believe they missed. <laughs> they had that I mean, 70% base accuracy plus veteran. I didn't pay attention to the accuracy, but it must have been like in the mid 80s or something. Once you get to 70% base accuracy, your uh, accuracy bonus through veterancy isn't that huge anymore. Oh, it's just sitting out there in the open. Um, just put you in there. There shouldn't be anything spawning else, really. And sometimes sitting it out there in the open on the line of sight, or when you can be relatively sure that, you know, units can't get a line of sight that easily, is sometimes safer than just sitting in like an obvious position. Whereas here, it can be really difficult to... Uh, stop anything from getting here and getting a line of sight because of how deep the forest is. Which is why it's usually still better to have him sit here in like a bush or something. Because even if it is an obvious position, then at least you kind of know, alright, are they spotted, are they not? Because war game, for better or for worse, gives you that information. That's always like an interesting discussion that um, I'm s myself not really sure where I stand, I stand on. Because of course, it is kind of like free information that you shouldn't really have, whether your unit, unit is spotted or not. And um, of course, um, the first thing that I think most people will think of is, oh, well, that you know, leads to more set of gameplay because, you know, people will be more afraid to push up the units. Because um, if they know they're spotted there, then they're going to be a lot more defensive, which I'm not necessarily saying is wrong, but I feel like in the long run, oh, there we go. In the long run, um, or at high level play, I do wonder though if <laughs> um, the opposite, if you didn't have that information, would act, if that would actually lead to more defensive gameplay, because you would always put units deeper into cover further behind because you really want to make sure that they aren't spawned. Um, I think at the end of the day, the biggest issue is just how strong or impactful um, anti-tank planes are in that regard. I think um, if planes, for example, simply didn't exist, then I would probably agree that not having that information would be would be better. But given how strong you know your furnaces, your Kahus, your 27Ms, etc., etc., are, I do feel like that if you didn't get that information people would be a lot more defensive at high level play with their super revs and such and be actually less proactive because if i can push up and know all right this is safe then i'll automatically be like okay where can i push next you know so i feel like even though for for good reason most people would probably immediately think oh you know the game telling you that you're spotted or not it's a bad gameplay. I'm not entirely certain. I think at the end of the day, you'd really have to experiment. War Warno, for example, does that, right? It does not tell you when you're spotted. But I feel like it's always a bit uh, difficult to uh, compare because of the relatively uh, pretty significant gameplay differences. Where are, Where's my opponent spending all their points on? Are they like playing a modded game and half the units just don't move as a result? Because sometimes that what that's what happens. I might be like so defensive with my video here. That's mod shoots, huh? Those are SPW 50s or PTF 50s. I guess they could be a. Uh... You failure. So they, so they it immediately got optical failure, so unless my opponent did like pay a lot of attention there. Um. The VDV did not get spotted or were invisible as soon as the optical failure kicked in. So again, if they didn't pay attention, they might have not even like seen the unit that killed them. <laughs> not like they had a lot of uh, like a big time window anyway. This is a really boring game. I just, I mean, they are captain, but captain I'd expect to be like you know, to be aggressive somewhere or you know do something, but they're just not doing anything. It's not like we're playing it to private. I'm just really confused right now. Unless they like got a bunch of like ELO by chasing with one helicopter around the flag and getting into the spawn. Hmm. 
I would not know. But there's still a Moderna somewhere unaccounted for. Let's not forget that. But oh, this 875 meter range, man, it's just so ridiculously good. It's crazy. Such a good anti tank weapon. As, as ridiculous as the Eryx is, and of course, you know, 20 RP and 24 AP, there's just very little, very few. Oh god. Oh god, I just got sidetracked by like what? Commandosi, yeah. Oh no, look at me. There's very little as consistent as uh, the. Uh, RPG-27 Because the Eryx at the end of the day is still guided Even if it's like, you know, very fast and has to guide for a very short amount of time uh, it's GG Well, we are gonna play this deck Um, uh, We're gonna play our opponent's deck next, I think Looks looks interesting, so I'm not... Oh, was, was BMP2 actually, not a BMP1 with Malutka there? Anyway, we're gonna play... Um, Hey, we're gonna play our opponent's deck deck next. Maybe. I did. Wait, what? Oh yeah, no, that was the MTV. No, I did get the specialness there. I wonder. Now, here's what I'm wondering, because you know, I did not get the extra AP after the helicopter crash, which is uh, which where I'm like 95% certain where you would get the XP again if you have like a a helicopter that is at 1 HP and it carries a 2 HP squad and you kill it with a 9 HP missile or something You kill the in uh, squad sitting inside with the missile before it crashes, but if you essentially kill like a 10 HP helo with like 2 5 HP missiles the Infantry inside as far as I know does not really take any damage until the crash Which is why sometimes you see 15 HP squads survive with a few men left because the crash doesn't deal enough uh, damage um, but I do wonder if when a helicopter crashes over the sea, you just don't get the extra XP for some reason. Because um, maybe the infantry just doesn't... The infantry dying from a crash might be different than infantry being quote-unquote unloaded, or like crash unloaded, whatever it is, over sea. Maybe that just instantly removes them, so to speak. And the whole damage from the crash doesn't actually take place, and as such, you don't have like the same, you know, kill thing going on. I don't know. This is just my theory. I mean, I spent a lot of points on Commandosi. Oh, that's what it was. It was a BMP one. It's just, oh my. Yeah, they were not unloaded. In fact, I'm not gonna lie. That the TPU loss was pretty embarrassing, but. No offense. Oh, I didn't even realize I had that before, right? Really. No offense, but as soon as I play against someone who I realize is just, again, not trying to be rude here, not very good at the game, or just simply new, right? Um, I play a lot more carelessly, or a lot less careful, if you want to phrase it that way. But yeah, like, I'll be honest, if I think of a captain, that's not the kind of Maybe it just went into the head that I played it against a Brigadier, who knows, sometimes it happens. Um, but like, when I think of a Captain, this is what I would look like. think like a Private or a Corporal plays like, but a Captain? Again, no offense. Maybe I'm just, you know, out of touch, as stupid as it sounds. Not, not, not afraid to often use for, you know, something like that, maybe. Oh, their 50s with the... What are they called again? Are they called Sturm Pioniere or something? Or Pioniere? Or oh, the Recommendosi here. And I actually ran away without knowing. Oh no. Sturm Pioniere. I was right. Okay. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate for him. Oh, there is. There is a special up here on the road. Oh my. What? I mean, look. If at the end of the day. This is not, again, not meant as an insult, right? Sometimes people just, they don't really care that much about getting better. Once again, I'm not trying to be, like, rude here. 
But like with over 500 rank games, I don't know. Maybe they don't care about learning. Maybe they're playing under the influence or something. I don't know. It is what it is. In any case, um, I guess I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye.